Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video. Um, this is especially for my Viking and Foff customers, but this does apply to pretty much, I'd say most of the brands, but especially Viking and Foff. Um, this is a customer's machine that came in for service. Haven't done the service yet, but what she did provide a replacement needle threader. Um, it's, you know, when you do your, your needle threading down here, there's a little hook in there that has to go into the needle that pulls the thread back, right? And it's not uncommon over time for this hook to get bent, broken. It takes nothing to break that hook. It's the tiniest, slimmest piece of, um, aluminum, the, and it, I'm talking microscopic, I have to pull out about four sets of glasses to wear and a magnifying glass when I'm adjusting the position of this. So the problem is on this particular model, it's not hard to replace. You can actually see the part that's in there. That's all that gets replaced on this model. Now that's not the same for every model. That just happens to be the case for this one. Um, and it sounds easy. You basically unscrew two screws in the back, put this thing on there, and then I do all kinds of micro adjustments, right? Well, the thing that I really want to point out is you have to be very careful about the product that you buy. Um, Obviously, the number one choice is going to be Viking brand for a Viking machine. Now, if you've been following my videos for a long time, you know that Viking is very, very, very proprietary to the point that when I have customers with a Viking machines that come in with a broken needle threader right now, um, okay, even before COVID, it's almost impossible for a shop like mine to get the replacement part because Viking will only sell the parts through an authorized service shop. I've done many videos about that. I used to work with a dealer, um, a Viking dealer, so I am factory trained, but because I'm an independent shop, I am not Viking authorized. So that means I cannot go on their website. I cannot order authentic Viking parts, right? That means you can't either. So what this customer did would make sense to me. This is what I would do. Um, she found this part here and you can see it's the colorful world of sewing with the website. It does say Viking Foff and it probably gives the exact same part number that um, Viking would provide to replace this part. Here's the thing though. The part you see in here is actually the original one. What's on the machine is the replacement. I noticed when I was putting the replacement on that I I almost couldn't get the two screw, screw holes in the back to line up. And that's because it's a reproduced part. That means some factory in... I'm going to say China or, or Taiwan or Hong Kong somewhere. Ty, you know, we see these reproduced parts. A factory is reproducing this, which is sometimes okay, but requires precision. And that means that because I can't even get this to line up properly, this threader is not going to work on her machine. So this was probably not a terribly expensive investment. If I had to guess maybe 20 or $30, which to me is still an investment. That's a lot of money for this little piece of metal. Um, and it's not going to work on her machine. So, um, I just want to give you a warning. If you're not for parts like this that seem like you can do a scoot around Viking instead of going to the dealer and getting parts from them. Um, and honestly, right now, COVID has made it very hard. It's very, very hard to get needle threaders for almost any brand right now. Um, this seemed like a logical workaround. I just want to warn you to be careful. If it does not have, you can see there is actually no Viking or Foff logo on here. And Viking and Foff will both put the actual logo on their products. It's nowhere on here because this company does not have permission technically from Viking or Foff to produce this part. So this is my warning to you. I understand the frustration and wanting to make this needle threader work, but I'm not saying that all products from the colorful world of sewing are bad. I'm just saying that something that requires precision, this is probably not the best route to go. If you've had an experience like this, please leave a comment um, and let us know. We like to alert our um, followers to these types of things as much as possible. If you've ever bought a part or, or had this experience where it didn't end up working on your machine, let us know. 